bass line. Hey guys, Jay from Night Ride Visuals. We provide visual content and VJ performances for DJs and touring acts. So with our performances, we've always been about trying to take things to the next level and give the best performance we can. We always used our Chaos Grand VJ to run our visuals. We started off with the APC-40, and when Newmark introduced the Orbit, we were brought to that next level that we had been looking for. We didn't have to be stuck behind a booth. We could move around, we could interact with the crowd and interact with the DJs. Load it, lock it, pockets, drop it, I'm gone long, guns automatic. We use the interactive design here to separate the visuals between these yellow pads and these green pads. The yellow pads were to trigger slow visuals. Then, the green pads would trigger the faster visuals. So if a drop hits in a song, we know that no matter where we are, as long as we hit a green button, it's going to fit the faster part of the song. If we switch banks, we have access to the next bank worth of visuals, in this case, logos. So if we click the first trigger, this would trigger a DJ logo, or in our case, the Night Ride Visuals logo. Or we could switch off and hit the Newmark logo here. We go back and trigger the first visual. When we started mapping, we decided to use all four of the knobs that are available on the Orbit. This gave us full flexibility over the things that we uh, use on a daily basis. The first knob here, if we select knob one, allows us to switch between side A and side B. Visually, it gives us a full fade using the middle section here to translate between the slow visual and the drop visual. If we switch over to knob two here, this gives us a color difference. So we can add, subtract, and change the colors of the visual on the fly to match the lighting or whatever we need to do while we're running around on the stage. Knob three here gives us a tile effect. This allows us to move to the beat or even spread out a visual that might just need more distance to it. And lastly, knob four is a zoom effect. This allows us to zoom in and out of the visual on time by using the knob. And it, the blue indicator gives us a full idea of where the zoom is, even if we can't see the screen. On the right side here, this is where our effects lay. If we go over to bank two, this selects the layers that the effects are on. So if we go to layer one and we select the first effect, it's a tunnel effect. If we go over to bank two here, we can select the same layer and we can use the accelerometer to change the effects in real time. To spin the effect backward, forward, change the tiling effect of it. Click back in the first, we can stop the effect in real time. We could also trigger it to the beat, which allows for a great effect to the music. This is more of a strobe effect, which allows us to change to the beat of the music. And lastly, the roto zoom effect, which gives us more of a zoom feature. You can also change the speed of that using the accelerometer as well as the uh, turn, which gives us great flexibility on stage. The Newmark Orbit has given us a new sense of freedom. It's taken our performance to the next level.